What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films, and I am back with another idiotic video for you to watch. Finally, I'm able to sit down and have a normal ass video for YouTube here at my office, my new office. It's currently a work in progress, uh, slowly but surely, I'll get it there pretty much. I'm working at the pace of Panasonic Autofocus, which is going back and forth. I'm not sure what, where I'm trying to land, who knows. Hope for the best pretty much. So with that being said, this is my first video in my new office. And of course it's going to be a typical Sony douchebag fanboy, straight up tube douche talking head video about the Sony 50 millimeter F 1.2 G Master lens. And here it is. Plenty of other tube doucher videos out there talking about the build quality, you know, what it looks like, the weight and all that stuff, but pretty much great build quality, weather sealed. Uh, pretty much you have a bunch of custom buttons here. You have one here and then another custom button here and you have click switch for your aperture control ring. I don't use that, but and also AF MF switch F112 and it's just about the same size, just about the same weight as a Zeiss, uh, Sony, Sony Zeiss F1.4. So why did I get this lens other than the fact that it makes my balls feel very big and saggy? I like the 50 millimeter range. I was using a Sigma 65 before, Sony 55 before, and I figured I really want to just get the best of the best. And I did do a video before, as many of you know, all six of you who subscribe to my channel, you know that I had talked about how I think this lens is too expensive, $2,000. $2,000 for an F4.2 where pretty much Sony is just trying to show Canon, Nikon, whichever, uh, how big the nuts are of the E-mount system. That's pretty much what this lens is all about when I first saw it. But obviously after I've been using it on multiple different shoots for the past month or so, and I work a lot. So like I'm talking about like 10 shoots, 10 professional shoots, uh, five or six weddings with this lens. And I gotta tell you, simply put, it is 100% worth the money. The best 50 millimeter I've ever used in my life. And according to a lot of other reviewers who has compared this with the Canon 50 millimeter F1.2 RF lens, uh, this performs better in terms of just sharpness, uh, chromatic aberration, all that uh, photography nonsense trash uh, specifications that everyone wants to talk about on the tube douche life. But in terms of just performance, getting the footage I need, uh, like this thing is unbeatable. Um, F1.4, like I usually just shoot, you know, at most F1.4. Sometimes for night I'll do F1.2. I just think it's way too shallow. But F1.4, F1.8, I mean, there's like literally like no difference in sharpness. Like if I were to say the most craziest thing about this is I feel like there's not much difference between F1.4, F1.8 and F2.8 in terms of how sharp the lens is. Uh, it is just amazingly just sharp at all apertures. Uh, the bokeh looks just super smooth. Um, autofocus is spot on, uh, quick, fast. There is nothing negative I can say about this lens really. Um, other than obviously it's expensive, but again, it is worth the price. So like if you are doing this kind of work uh, professionally, if this is what's providing your meals, if this is what is feeding your family, paying your bills, uh, this is not, a, this is a no brainer. If you're for some reason just rich, uh, got a bunch of money and just you know, want to have nice camera gear so you can go on Facebook and ask stupid questions. Uh, you could go ahead and buy this lens too, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. But yeah, I've pretty much just been filming this, using this lens for like all types of stuff. Uh, wide, tight, tripod, gimbal, uh, any modern day gimbal these days, you know, that you could buy over 250 bucks could, you know, balance this lens with on the Sony a7S3 or any other Sony e-mount camera. 
100% no complaints. A lot of the shots that I've been using um, on this YouTube video to show you have been like wedding films or whatever other projects I decide to post while editing this video. I've been using a lot of the free well mist filter on this uh, lens. As you, as you can see right now, I have the free well mist uh, installed. I'm um, pretty much, it is free well's magnet system. So the cap is a magnet. You take the magnet off, which is the cap. And then this is the actual uh, 1.8 mist filter itself. And then you take the mist filter off and you're pretty much set to go straight up, just normal lens, no filter, no nothing. And if you want to put the mist filter back, you simply put it back on and bam, you have the filter back. And then you want to pack this up, you put the cap back and you're done for the day. Uh, very slick system. I have another video on Freewell coming up, probably the next video after this one, uh, with something very cool that they're releasing. So check that out um, whenever you get the chance, subscribe to the channel, whatever. Just do whatever you feel like doing, but when you subscribe, you like this video, et cetera, et cetera. It helps me a lot. It helps me keep doing these kinds of things. And uh, I hope you appreciate it. I like doing it. So I hope to continue to do this every week going forward consistently. So yeah, the reason why I like using the mist filter is because like I said, this lens is super sharp, great for photography and stuff like that. But I think for like films, for video, I feel like I want like a slightly softer, slightly more diffused look, a little more glowing highlights. And that's why I like to use a mist filter. I like using the 1 8 mist, which is pretty much the, one of the lower mist uh, amounts that you could get. Obviously you get like, you know, one over one, uh, you know, one fourth, which is a little more glowy, maybe for some special projects, but not for me, even a half, uh, whatever. You can go as high as you want, but I prefer the 1 8 mist. And that's what I've been using. So a lot of this footage you see that I've been showing you is actually not the true sharpness of this lens. It's actually this lens with the diffusion filter on top. Just to make that clear. But when I tell you this lens is just sharp as crap, uh, it is super sharp. Um, I really want to do a comparison with the uh, Sigma 65 and the Sony 55 millimeter uh, on here on YouTube and just show everyone, you know, the differences in quality, whatever, in the image. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I almost feel like I'll waste my time and waste yours if I told you like those other two lenses are anything close to this, because this is, this is the king. Uh, I, I, I get, if you have the cash, buy this lens. If you have the cash and you like the 50 millimeter, if you want a 50 millimeter, you want the best of the best 50 millimeter, buy this lens, okay? And if you wanted to save some money, you kind of use 50 sometimes to get a 55, get the Sigma 65, get an, uh, you know, another maybe 50 Zeiss. But um, if you were to say like, should I use spend the extra money on this versus the Zeiss? I used to own the Zeiss. I would just spend the extra money on this one. You know, just, especially if you are just making stacks from video work, from photo work, you should get the best and the best. Um, yeah, I hope this video helped you out, make a decision on purchasing this lens or you just wanted it for sheer entertainment for whatever reason. Uh, yes, this is not like the typical two doucher channel where you see me take, you probably wanna see me take pictures of charts. You wanna see me, you know, dive deep into chromatic aberration. You wanna see me take pictures of bricks to see if there's any distortion. The fact of the matter is there is everybody else doing that stuff. I'm just actually giving you my real world experience for using this for the past month or so on multiple shoots. Like I've been using this lens. I didn't just get it from Sony and I didn't just decide to review it uh, for views. I am telling you, I bought this lens with my own money and I've been using it on paid professional use. Um, every weekend, multiple days during the weekend, every, you know, during the weekday, I've been using the crap out of this lens. This lens has been used and abused over and over again. So that is where I'm coming from in terms of my review of this product. This is not a scientific review. This is not a technical review. This is a straight up user review. Like I've been just beating the crap out of this lens. Like I've been, I've been beating this lens like an Asian kid getting beat by his parents for getting an A minus on his quiz. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Please subscribe to the channel. And until next time,
Line up.